I'm Mary Hope Nduku Manzia. I'm from Coast Institute of Technology, VOI, and I have been happy to be here. I, I am lucky to have participated in this competition and to have known how the PLCs work, to have known how, how someone is supposed to know all the parts of the, of the PLC and to know how to code it and learning also to use TIA portal and also factory I.O. And next time when I would attend this competition, maybe if my age would not have exceeded 25, I would, I would be able to participate more and also go to the next rounds and also farewell completely. And uh, I appreciate the opportunity that I got to come to Nyeri and to participate in World Skills Kenya National Competition. My name is Vestas Chawake uh, from Kipsoin Technical and Vocational Training Center. Uh, I was competing in mechatronics engineering. I can say the competition was uh, good at all. It has gained me a lot of knowledge to get. Yeah, I think I've learned more. Okay, so I'm seeing that uh, when I go back, yes, uh, I've got more skills. I am Professor Jean Bosco, uh, the director of Siemens Mechatron Certification Center. I am also national expert for skilled mechatronics and industrial 4.0. Yesterday, on the day 29, we had uh, the competition in industrial 4.0 and the mechatronics. We had uh, 13 teams for mechatronics and the 10 teams in industrial 4.0. So we gave a task for mechatronics was to program the machine, the mechatronics system uh, in automatic mode and the manual mode. This is the reason, uh, the reason we gave this is because in industry, when you have a technician needed to call or an engineer, depending on uh, the level of people you employ, uh, you have to commission a machine. When you are commissioning a machine, the first step is to uh, show the end user how can you use the machine manually and how can you use the machine automatically. That is mechatronics. For industry 4.0, we said now you are beyond uh, receiving the machine and the, uh, commission it the way it is, but you, you can buy parts from different manufacturers and you do uh, integration. So you work as an integrator. In that case, for you to ha this to happen, you have been in touch with the manufacturer from day one uh, virtually so that you are able to test the machine, uh, what we call virtual um, approvals in the procurement uh, so that you can be able to say to approve for manufacturer to send uh, the parts you need because you have to see how they function then you decide what you're going to buy. In that case we use the factor IO as a software to be able to yeah, simulate uh, the machine then we use the motor controls uh, which has a human machine interface that is HMI and we had uh, a PLC Siemens 1200 and we had a motor, a sing, a three phase motor converted to single phase and then you control it for controlling an elevator system. I'm um, Leonard Kipchembo and uh, speaking of the competition it was superb, I can say it was good because we had much of experience in the general fields from the, all the machines starting from machine one to machine six, it was very good. Uh, the areas which we are focusing on, the programming actually mainly, the machine programming was good. We took on the competition yesterday and the results were announced today. The results were out and we are satisfied with the results from the judges. Uh, we can say it was free and fair. My name is Joan Jerin Joke, a student from Kabete National Polytechnic. Uh, I was competing under the vacancy of the mechatronics. Okay, I would say from the day one of the training, the training was good, it was fair. Okay, considering the the competition, I would say the competition began very well. It was stiff. To we, we had to analyze the machines. It was hard competing with people who, who have been specializing with these machines before. My name is Alfin Gitonga from Coast Institute of Technology. I was competing in mechatronics section and uh, the competition I think it was fair enough. I didn't see any challenge so far but uh, 
for me I would say although I did not call I did not qualify for the next competition I think it was a chance for me to be exposed to greater opportunities and to learn more being the first time competing in this I think I did my best and coming next time I think I would have practiced enough to get a chance to go further and I know next time I will win I've learned skills in that is in programming I've been able to I'm able now to understand programs and interpret them and also make my own and I think having learned that I think it's a great opportunity for me today we are on day 2 we have we had to make sure we are changing the task we are making sure the student are not going back to the machine they used yesterday uh, and then we are giving them again five hours as we give them yesterday we allow the very student to be able to have a chance on a mechatronics machine, on a factory IO. And we are happy because uh, the team really won for the first stage is the TVET and we have again the universities. So the same uh, recipe we had in the beginning is the same recipe we are having even at this stage. Thank you.